sir, how do you think the Telangana government is working towards building the life science sector? So, like um, we announced yesterday, um, life science sector in Telangana was about fifty billion dollars. We right. set out a target of hundred billion dollars in hmm. about ten years, which okay. is twenty twenty eight. Um, so we have been able to achieve that target. In fact, almost eighteen eighty billion dollars now. Hmm. We are confident of achieving our original target in about two years, hmm. five years ahead of the plan schedule. Hmm. So now we have revised that target to about two fifty uh, two fifty billion dollars, tripling hmm. the overall target. Hmm. Right, so we are now working towards um, a number of initiatives that we laid out yesterday, from manufacturing to R and D to um, um, GCCs, the capability centers, and also um, the technology, the health and technology hmm. intersections. So all of these we think will propel our ecosystem to our targeted two fifty billion dollar valuation. What are the research developments on Pharma City and Genome Valley project? And do you think these projects are going to help in boosting the R and D and bulk drug production? Sure. So Genome Valley. Is is a pure play R and D cluster. Mm -hmm. It is it, the full focus of Genome Valley is R and D right. and also clean manufacturing, mm -hmm. and the cluster has been extremely successful over mm -hmm. the years. And um, you know we have almost two hundred, more than two hundred companies now, mm -hmm. who's who have life sciences industry globally, right. and that cluster is going strong. So we are looking at consolidating the cluster further, strengthening it, and expanding that further, with focus on uh, research and innovation. We already have about three million square foot of um, lab space in the cluster. Um, and two million is getting added. Mm. If you look at the entire country in terms of multi-tenanted lab space, mm. we have the highest. Um, okay. So, um, so that way our focus on R and D continues in Genome Valley. In Pharma City, while um, you know this is being developed as a, a, a complete integrated ecosystem for pharmaceuticals, um, there is also a, a university that is embedded in an industrial ecosystem. Mm. Which we think will drive innovation, mm -hmm. right? Um, globally, uh, what has happened in, let's say, in Massachusetts or um, in UK, um, universities have driven industrial ecosystems. Right. What we are trying to do in Pharma City is to embed an university in an industrial ecosystem, mm -hmm. uh, and then see how that's going to drive innovation. Mm -hmm. And uh, talking about challenges, what do you think are, will be the major challenges that you see in scaling pharma capabilities in India? Uh, you know there are there are regulatory and policy streamlining that is required to really scale this further. Uh, another co concern that we've constantly heard from companies is IP. Mm -hmm. So there's there's been a lot of work already done mm -hmm. um, at the IP um, uh, concern mm -hmm. addressing IP concerns with the new mm -hmm. um, uh, initiatives. Mm -hmm. But there's more to be done. Mm -hmm. So those, if you're able to address it uh, in a timely and a faster way, I think this will really put India uh, in the growth path. Mm. And if you could tell me a little about the interest generated by the global pharma companies towards Hyderabad's uh, pharma sector. Uh, there's there's a lot of exciting conversations that are happening. You might have heard um, uh, BMS is setting up a, a global uh, um, center right. with about um, 1500 people mm. looking at cutting edge artificial intelligence mm. um, work um, and uh, Sanofi has um, um, you know uh, uh, come into Hyderabad as mm. well so with with this we will have four of the top 10 global pharma companies mm. having very very high end capability center in Hyderabad right. and a number of other companies from Europe and US have recently in the last year year alone we have companies from Switzerland we have companies from um, Spain US investing in Telangana so the the you know we are, we are excited about the potential so uh, this will be my last question how do you think the digital experiences and solutions are changing the lives and how are pharma companies working towards meeting the con consumer needs so uh, I think t technology is intersecting every part of the, um, the continuum in life sciences value chain, right? So companies are really looking at um, how technology will ac accelerate right from discovery to delivery. Mm. Um, development, the technology play in development has been a little well established already. Mm. So now technology in discovery is something that's getting focused on a lot of health tech focus in terms of delivery. Mm. Um, beyond just EMR, um, mm. EHR, uh, moving towards analytics right. and also um, you know overall monitoring uh, so so it's exciting uh, time for this intersection of technology and um, uh, biology or healthcare to be mm. and Hyderabad we believe is very 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 well positioned to to capitalize on this uh, potential option